Oh, it's a little bit clearer today. Welcome back to the off grid homesteading vlog, guys. After yesterday's fairly disappointing video, we thought we'd come back down this morning and give our well another test here. See how much it recovered since yesterday. So, Seth's gonna be our pumper today. <laughs> Seather, yep. we gotta prime the pump. <coughs> then you're gonna need to hold it down here with one hand and pump with the other hand. Okay. Kind of short strokes at first, and you'll feel it start pumping yeah. up the water. Okay, go ahead, sir. I think, I think our foot valve is stuck open and allowing the water to run back down the pipe because of all that silt in it. Oh, it's getting harder. Oh, 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 hold on. Okay, you're there. <coughs> all right, pump away, my friend. Oh, it's a little bit clearer today. It's not quite as, look at that. Uh-huh, it is. Look at that, that's a lot clearer. Oh, that ain't so clear anymore. <laughs> That's chocolate milk again. Okay, lots of chocolate milk again. <laughs> wow, Seth, you're like pumping mud, man. Sounds really just smooth. Yeah, that is super thick. Turtlenecks <laughs> and sandals. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Here, one funny kid. Look at how much Sandy pumped up. How much silt. Oh, wow. Oh, man, Seth. Wow. Look at that. That is a ton. That is a lot of silt. <laughs> it doesn't seem like that's very good for the pump. <laughs> Okay, 10 gallons. Ooh. Suck in air. Hmm. Maybe like 11 or 12. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'd say 12 gallons today. Stir up the bottom here so we can hopefully get all that mud out. A lot of it out. A lot of it. That stuff is. Whew. Ooh yeah, we definitely wouldn't want to be drinking and bathing in that. It's like super fine sand. It's not really like mud, but more, <laughs> more of a sand. Yeah. Quick sand. Let's go see what other kind of trouble we can get into today. Well, this really isn't trouble. But check this out, guys. Cherry tree right here. Tux, you gonna mark your cherry tree? <laughs> hmm? He's thinking about digging, I think. This one's a Rainier sweet cherry tree. And then down there we have a Bing. Bing. <laughs> yeah, that's a Bing one right there. And so these guys should be able to cross pollinate. <laughs> Yesterday, while I was doing some other stuff, Jules and the kids actually planted these trees and she made a special video. She shot it, edited it, everything for our patrons and so if you're one of our patrons it is over on the private facebook group if you'd like to become a patron there's a link down below for patreon both rainier and um, bing are sweet cherries so they're not necessarily a pie cherry they're more for eating i think in about probably not next year but the year after we'll probably get some fruit provided that i planted them well <laughs> That is one dull saw blade. Yikes. Too many nails. It's not even really worth cutting. Ah, we'll do it anyway. Let's go grab a hammer. Ah, there we go. Beautiful, huh? 
except for this toenail over here. Yes, right here. There we go. Say goodbye. Whew, beautiful, look at that. Patio door is open. It's great, man. It's great. All right, I'm getting ready to paint here. Although the floor's not dry yet all the way. All right, I mean, we still got some wet spots. It's not really dry enough to paint yet. I don't know if it's gonna get dry enough today to paint at all, really. I don't know, maybe tomorrow. If it doesn't rain tonight, tomorrow maybe it'll be good. Tomorrow afternoon, if it doesn't rain tomorrow as well. But it'd be good, it'd be good. We don't really have too many places that are messed up. We got like a couple chips like this that are puffed up. Um, like this right here is loose, but I mean, that's not a big deal. All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's see like a seam here. I mean, it's a, maybe a little bit, but not, you can't feel it when you walk on it. There's nothing really you can feel when you walk on it. There are some minor imperfections. But we want to just try to avoid something major that you can really feel when you walk on it, right? There was that one. This right here. I mean, you can feel that if you step right on it. So we can sand that down. Um, right in here in the bathroom. Right? I mean, you're not going to step here, but still, this corner puffed up some. Maybe an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch. Yeah, a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch right here. So that'll be good to get taken care of. But really, let's see, maybe in the bedroom here, right here, hmm, well, I mean, there's a little bit, I guess you can tell because of water staying here, right, but it's also right in the shadow of the top plate, so, um, it's a little bit puffed up right here, but it's just barely, guys, right, right here. Yeah, right there, there's a little, it's a little damp still. Could be from water getting into it. But really overall, yeah, it's good. I think I said that like 25 times already now, guys. Whew. So hopefully, hopefully it'll all dry out today. Tomorrow we can get it painted. Today is like the craziest video ever for you guys. We are like all over the place all like different little things nothing's really complete today but that's like that's like how it is today jules and sarah they are gone they are up at a canning class in bonners ferry with the uh extension school up there the idaho university extension program it's just seth and i here and i've been thinking a lot about that well i just went down uh after lunch and pumped 10 more gallons out of it so there is water there and it is recovering. It's very slow. But I think maybe the more I pump, the faster it will begin to recover. Like it'll open up little channels maybe or something for the water to flow in faster. Maybe. And you know, it is the end of summer like I said before. So as the groundwater level rises, there'll be more water in the pipe. Possibly. But it is filling up with silt more in the bottom. So I have an idea. I'm thinking, what if I took a piece of three inch ABS, cause that's what I have, so I don't have to buy another extra piece of pipe, right? And I cut the end here, I cut triangles out of the end. Ah, let me show you here. So I take it and I cut triangles out of it, making points all the way around like four to six points. And then I heat it and I bend those in. So basically I've made a sharp point out of this three inch pipe, okay? Then we cut some slots going down it. This would be like a foot long. This is just a scrap piece I have for illustration. But I get like a foot long piece. And on this end, I adapt it down to three quarter inch male thread. That way I could use it with my auger, right? So basically I'm gonna make a three inch auger. And then I go down into the well and get that silt that's down there, pull it out. Right, so it's only a four and a half inch well casing. The silt is built up in there now, I would guess about four feet. So I could go down and dig it out. It wouldn't take all that long if it would stay in the basket, right? If I could make it stay in here, I could get it out, I think. 
And then just keep doing that, right? Just keep doing that until finally no more silt wants to run back in there. And just keep pumping it and keep pumping it. Like go down maybe every hour for a year. I don't know, right? I'm just thinking out loud with you guys. Just trying to get some ideas. I know that you guys have posted ideas in the comments. But I haven't read those comments yet because that video goes out tomorrow. And so... Um, I'm just thinking about it because I've got time, right? We're waiting for our trusses. Hmm. Guys, we just couldn't wait. It's been an hour since I talked to you last time. And Seth's going to pump our water and see what we get here. Yep. Just been thinking about it. Maybe we ought to pump it a lot, as much as we can. Go ahead, Seather. Got it. So it starts off a little bit clearer and then it gets darker. Yep, it's darker now. Definitely darker. Huh. Keep it in the bucket there, buddy. Oh, stuck in air. But it is a little bit clearer, maybe. Just a little bit. Tiny, tiny bit. But about five gallons almost. Yeah, four and a half maybe. What do you guys think? Four and a half gallons in an hour? I guess it's not, I don't know. I mean, is that bad? Yeah, it seems kind of bad. I mean, if we're trying to live off of it. I mean, if you're just living, living, like all you had to do was drink water and that was it, I guess it'd be enough. But. Uh, Oh, look at that, man. see? Yep. Last time I pumped it, it had been hours, like mm, maybe six hours, and I got about 10 gallons. This time we waited one hour, and we got four gallons. So, I don't know what that tells us, but it is filling back up again with water, so that's cool. Check this out here. It, it's... It's stuck in there. Like, there we go. It just, now it's it's sitting on top of the mud. Look at that. I'm not even holding it. It's just sitting on top. I gotta try to. There we go. So, it's filled up all the way, man. Oh. When I lift, when I lift it up about two or three inches, Move it over a bit and set it down. It sits on top of the silt. How long? And it was a foot higher than the silt when we when we put that pump in. So the silt has risen a foot now. Yep. Like twice as long as his body. See that little big buddy. <laughs> we got to get that silt out of there. And hopefully it'll stop coming in eventually. Guys, if you want to know what else is going on in our homestead here, there's a video right over there you can check out. But until then, guys, hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you right over there in just a minute.